there's evidence that the Velociraptor fought a dinosaur called Protoceratops about 71 million years ago. In Mongolia, um, a Velociraptor fossil has been found together with the f uh, fossil of a Protoceratops. And the two dinosaurs are very closely together, and the way they were arranged, it seemed as if the two dinosaurs um, had been fighting when they were killed. They think they were killed by a sandstorm that covered them over and uh, led to their deaths. Now, if they were fighting, um, the Protoceratops may have been having a sort of better time of it. The Protoceratops had hold of the Velociraptor's front leg, or front limb, and um, the Velociraptor was on the ground. The Protoceratops grew to about 1.8 meters in size, about the size of a, sh a modern sheep, but again, lots of the, a lot of their length was also the tail too. So the Protoceratops weren't very large, but they could have been quite a large prey for the Velociraptor. It could well be that the Velociraptors went for smaller sized prey or small proto Protoceratops. And again, there's a chance that the Velociraptor may have hunted uh, together in packs as well, although this is um, you know, just a suggestion or a sort of idea. Now, it's interesting that the films Jurassic Park and the novels uh, Jurassic Park written and Lost World written by Michael C uh, Crichton um, use the name Velociraptor in the, in the films and the books. Um, the actual size of the dinosaurs in those films and books was actually more akin or similar to the size of Deinonychus. So uh, the Jurassic Park films and books were based on the uh, Deinonychus rather than the Velociraptor, which was a sort of smaller version of the raptors. And the Velociraptors did exist from about 75 to 71 million years ago um, in Asia. And at the time, um, the Deinonychus may well have been extinct.